Good morning. We are back at the Rusty Shovel today, and although we are just over a month into spring, there is still tons of time left to start your landscaping projects and the team here can help you out. Now today, Sean, what we're going to be talking about is shade and privacy as that weather gets really warm. We're crawling towards summer. We're going to be talking about how people can actually make their own pergolas. Lots of uh, steps involved here. Why don't you tell us uh, about some of the products you have that can help? Yeah, so this uh, product line actually came out of a personal need. We had a deck that got really hot in the summer and I needed a solution. I'm not the master woodworker so I didn't want to be messing around with building a full-on pergola but I wanted still something that provided some structure. So um, we brought in uh, this nestling line. Um, we've got pergola brackets here um, that allow you to make a quick and easy pergola structure that we can provide some shade from. Okay, so you have these, uh, the pergola corner supports. What's the next product you have? Uh, we've also got the floor supports. So there's there's a variety of different brackets like this made for four by four lumber. So whether you like cedar, whether you like pressure treated, whether you want to do something different out of uh, steel or something different, um, these make it really easy to put a pergola structure together. I think in a, uh, you know, for a 10 by 10 area or a 12 by 12 area, there's about eight cuts that you need to do um, and just a few screws that need to go together and you can add this to a deck or patio area. Well, in the interest of getting some of that shade and privacy, you also have some wonderful curtains here that are retractable. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, so the problem with typical uh, pergolas is that they use a lot of lumber, they're very expensive, but they don't provide a lot of shade. And so with these structures, our harmonica shades can actually retract to provide shade when you want it, but still let the sun through uh, when you don't. It comes in a variety of different colors, variety of different sizes, very easy to put together. Perfect, really the, the perfect option for people who want some of that shade and privacy this season. But for people who don't actually have the pergola and they're not really interested in building one, you also have some of those curtains that can really go off anything. Yeah, so our shade sails are, are one thing that if you have, you know, off of the corner of a house to say a flagpole or some trees or something like that, um, they can just go up on an, on an angle. They come in rectangular uh, shapes or uh, triangles as well, um, be put on an angle to be able to provide shade out in the yard or basically anywhere at a pretty low cost. What advice would you give to somebody watching right now who's thinking it looks beautiful but I don't think I can do it alone? Yeah so the we're here to help that's the basis of the Rusty Shovel not just a place where you can buy things but we can actually provide some help for you as well so um, if you go to the website we've actually got at the Rusty Shovel.ca a place where you can take pictures of your space uh, provide us with a few basic measurements and we can help figure out what you're gonna need for materials um, how you're going to be able to build it we could even find somebody to build it for you and then of course price it out. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add today? Um, I think just, you know, it's a it's a non-permanent way to provide some shade and, and some privacy with our roller blinds as well, where uh, you can still feel the sun if you want it, get protection from it when you don't. Well, thanks so much for having us here today. Of course, if you want some more advice on landscaping this spring, tune in next week. We'll be right back here at the Rusty Shovel. Love your landscape. Brought to you by the Rusty Shovel.